Hi everyone, it's Anthony here, looking at our next psalm, which is Psalm 29. As I read it, listen out for the references to strength at the start and the end. The psalm uses the imagery of a storm to show something of the strength of the Lord, and the psalm as a whole tells us that the Lord has strength, and he gives strength to his people. Psalm 29, a psalm of David. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the splendour of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedar of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forests bare. And in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. When the people of God were brought out of Egypt at the Exodus and they crossed the sea, they sang a song to God called the Song of the Sea, which we can read in Exodus chapter 15. And Psalm 29 uses a lot of the same language. It would have reminded readers of that song, that celebration of God's victory over hostile powers and chaotic waters. And in particular, it's God's word that's mentioned here. Somehow God only needs to speak to show this amazing power. Ancient Near Eastern cultures surrounding Israel had their gods of sea and wind and thunder and lightning, all the elements that are mentioned in the psalm but David knows that the Lord is the only one who holds all power there's no place where his voice doesn't make an impact and there's no place over which he's not enthroned as king and we can celebrate that as David does knowing that even in the midst of chaos and the forces that would threaten us we too can find strength and peace from God let's pray Lord Jesus, thank you that by walking on the water and calming the storm, you made it clear that you are the Lord of all things, the one who is able to put down the forces of chaos in your world. Help us to trust in you, our King, enthroned forever. Amen.